Hey guys, I have an empties video for you. It's been quite a while since I last filmed an empties video. And um, my empties video, I don't even know when the last empties video I did was. But, um, yeah. Um, let's think. I don't know. Maybe October? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but like almost every single video, like for, I don't know, a few months, for an empties video, I have like shown a tampon box. It's like tradition if I don't show a tampon box. Like there is no way that I use 36 of these in like one month because I start, I used to do empties like every month or every two months and like I only have my period for like three or four days and like I only need, I don't know, two or three a day. So, I mean, it's not like I'm using 36, but, you know, whatever. So, anyways, this is the Playtex Dental Glide 360 Super Plus. I didn't really like these ones. It does have the fresh scent. That's why I bought them. But I don't like these ones as much as the Sport. They're not as comfortable as the Sport ones. So, I repurchased my good old Sport ones. I think I did. I hope I did. So, yeah. These are the Lullabies Baby Wipes, um, and you get 56 of them. They're super inexpensive. They remove waterproof, stubborn makeup like a dream. It doesn't tug at your eye. It's a nice, big, moist towelette, and I love it. Um, these are, like, really cheap, like 88 cents or something for a package of these, and that's, like, such a good deal. So, I don't know. They work great, cheap. That's all I need. This is the L'Oreal Paris Ferrier Absolute Platinum Advanced Lightning System in Extreme Platinum. You guys know this is what I use to color my hair with. Um, as you can see, it needs done at the moment, um, but I'm trying to go. I'm not going to be using this anymore, or I might be, but with a toner. I don't know yet, um, because I got extensions for Christmas, and I'm trying to match my hair to them, and I still haven't gotten it to, like, the right tone and um, my tone is supposed to be more golden so I don't know if you guys can tell but it's like a little more golden it's like clearly not as white but it's a little more golden from what it was but I need it to be a little bit more gold this I got in an influencer box I don't remember which one it was but I will link down I'll link the video down below like when I received it um, this is the Olay Active Botanicals Refreshing Gel Cleanser with, um, what's in this? Something is crazy. Okay, oh, Snow Mushroom with Snow Mushroom. It provides glowing skin with an effective cleansing, cleansing formula. Um, I love this. This is like a gel cleanser. It comes out clear and jelly, and then you will, like, rub it into your skin, and it starts to suds up, and it's amazing. This is, like, $6 from the drugstore, and this is, like, so good. It makes your skin feel so soft. And um, I actually just featured this in my updated skincare routine, so I'll link that down below for you guys so you can see it in action. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is the uh, a Peel Facial Essence Mask Collagen with Vitamin E. looks like this. It's one of those sheet masks that I absolutely love. It's mess-free. Like, you leave the mask on for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, this one says 20 to 30. I think I left mine on for 30 because I just watch videos when I have it on. Um, and you peel it right off. Whatever's left on your skin, you moisturize in and you throw away the mask. Like, and then you have to wash your hands after. And, like, that's it. Or you can rub it into your, like, hands. That's what I do sometimes. Um, like, it's literally mess-free. I don't know why some people don't like them, but I love these. And that one worked really great, too. It was just really nice and moisturizing, so I definitely recommend it. It was pretty inexpensive as well. And then this is my shampoo. This is the Herbal Essences, the Sleeker the Butter Smoothing Shampoo, and this has Koopa Sua butter in it. Koopa Sua, not Koopa Sua. Koopa Sua butter in this. This is not sulfate free, so if you want that in a shampoo, you're not going to want to buy this, but this is like $2.97 at Walmart, and it's so, it smells really good, first of all. It smells kind of cocoa-y and warm. Um, like that kind of scent, which I love, um, and it's so hydrating and moisturizing to my hair. Um, I just washed my hair last night, didn't put anything in it, um, and this is what it is. Like, it just looks nice and clean, it cleans all the impurities out of my hair, gets any of, like, the product buildup out, and I just, I love this, and it's so inexpensive. The only complaint I have is that they shouldn't make it in the larger bottles, because I go through this 
probably like once a, like I go through one of these like um, every month probably but they're only three dollars so it's not that big of a deal but I wish it was in a bigger container so I didn't have to go to the store all the time because then it makes me buy more stuff but that's okay that's their plan I have been talking about this forever now um, probably since it's probably I've probably been using it for a year I know that I I think I started using this when I worked at Target and that was um, in 20 was that in 2014 I worked at Target? No. Maybe. Was it? I don't know. Oh my god, I think in 2014 I started using this. So this has been a couple years, I think. I could be totally wrong. You already know it's on the screen. But um, this is the Kua Kua Oil Conditioner from Organics. I do not have the shampoo. I don't know why I've never tried it. I just really like that one and I don't want to switch at the moment. But this one is amazing. As like, It's so hydrating. It's like a deep conditioner every day, but it's okay. Like It doesn't make your hair oily or anything. And as a blonde, you bleach your hair to get this light if you were my color before as you can see and so it damages your hair like a lot and this does like fixes my split ends it really hydrates my hair and then like once a week I will like run it all through my hair and let it sit on there for a few minutes and then I'll wash it out and that's actually what I did last night too but um just to get everything feeling smooth but this doesn't add the shine the sleeker the butter adds the shine to my hair which like blondes it's hard for blondes to get like shiny hair at least I've noticed in a lot of my friends hair so anyways really love this only five bucks super inexpensive so I had these fake nails on oh I don't know I think I put them on for New Year's Eve these are from kiss but they're by the they're in their pink line which is for little girls so if you can wear the kiss petite sizes you can wear these um, these just are like longer length with pink bows and black tips with white polka dots. I just thought they were super cute and super fun to wear for New Year's, so why not? And I think these were like two bucks when I bought these. They just don't come with nail glue, but you know me. I can always pick up a nail glue. So I went through a foundation, and this was like a while ago because this actually could have been from October because I'm pretty sure I used the rest of this up for a like Halloween tutorial I did because I needed to mix in like green and I was like I better just use this foundation because this one's too dark for me but I love it this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation and it also has an SPF of 20 in it if you were wondering I got the shade um classic ivory and I had this once before and then I repurchased it to this one and I thought this was the shade that I bought but I don't know if this is the lightest shade that they have but this was still too dark for me because it does oxidize like an orange which is like not what I need I clearly am like white right now as you guys can see like literally white maybe a little bit of a pinky undertone to my skin but I don't want it that much so I don't know just too dark for me as you can see from the bottle it's too dark clearly so I don't know what I was thinking when I purchased it but really good foundation full coverage and you can use it as concealer if you don't like to use concealer for highlighting um you can use it as concealer so it's like a two-in-one so you're saving money kind of <laughs> so it's really really good This is my Jack Black Lip Balm in Natural Mint, and I absolutely love this. It's the Jack, Blom, Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm, and I love this so much. I wish I wasn't out of it. This is a pricier chapstick. It's like $7.50 or lip balm. It is like $7.50, but it's really great. If your lips are super chapped and you just need a quick fix overnight, this is going to help you out. Like during the winter we definitely need this. So I know it's only I know it's really expensive like for a lip balm. It's not like that expensive, but it is for a lip balm if you know what I'm trying to say when you can get one for like two bucks. They don't work as good as this one. I have found one other that works as good and it's three three dollars. But I haven't I mentioned it before, but I'm not gonna mention it until I can find it for us to purchase it here in the like mainland. So love this. This is the Ferrier Anti-Brass Conditioner from L'Oreal Paris. It was in the little um, hair coloring box that I have. I really like this to get all of the brassy tones out, and this really helps to get your hair white. But like I said, I am trying to go for a more golden look, so I can't really use this now, but this works wonders. It's really conditioning. It does get rid of like the brassiness. It just sucks that this you can only get it through the coloring boxes, which I wish I could get it like on its own so L'Oreal somebody needs to tweet this video to L'Oreal because I want this by itself make it for me please
um, Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer. I love this so much. It is a silicone based primer, so if you don't like that, you're not going to like this. It fills in the pores um, just so effortlessly, and um, I love this. I just, I really, really love this. I talk about it all the time, and it's just a travel size. Um, but when I apply it, I don't like just wipe it all over my face. I just use it on the places I need it because it just makes your money go a lot farther. And when I put it on, I just like press it into my pores. So where I use it are my cheeks and like right here on top of my nose, I have like a big like indent or not indent, but it's like a scar or something. I had a pimple there and I popped it and it made a crater in my nose basically. So I just press it into my skin and then like just around here and like it goes into my pores better than smoothing it over. So I love this primer. It is pricey but it works amazingly. So to try and get my hair to the more golden color to match my extensions that I have, we tried, me and my friend, um, well, my friend's a hairdresser, she tried this color on me, she thought it was going to get me there, my hair is really picky and it's just a mess, like it doesn't like to, it doesn't like to cooperate, so we ended up picking the Fram Color Glamour um, Hair Coloring Cream in number 12.3, which is Ultra Lift Gold, and it was exactly like my extensions, and that's what I thought was going to happen to my hair. This, like, pretty much just did this, and it, it made it more golden, but not what I wanted, so, yeah, we used two tubes of that because we did it once, and then we are like, we're going to try it one more time, if it doesn't work, we'll take, give my hair a break, and then, like, move on, so... Yeah, that's why I have these. And then this is really sad. I was going to use this one day in a tutorial for you guys. This is the NYX Crystal Silk Dramatic Sparkle Studio Effect um, Liquid Crystal Liner in, um, what are you in? Crystal Silk. Oh, that's the shade. Okay, Crystal Silk. And it's just like a nudie kind of shade. It's a glittery liquid eyeliner. And I was going to use it to apply glitter to the lid. But I, I like got into my drawer and was like going to pick it out and it like cracked. The bottle cracked and like it dried up. So that's why that's in there. But I'm going to have to repurchase that again. I think those are only like three or four bucks which is pretty good. And then this is the Kiss Pink Nail Glue and I used it with those nails. Um, and this actually stayed on for a week. Like my nail stayed on for a week with this glue. Which is really rare because when I normally use this glue it only lasts for three to four days. So you guys might want to check it out because these two, these little tubes were like a two pack or like a dollar or something. So it's, it might be worth your while to check them out. This is the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer, and um, this is just like a travel size. It came with like a shadow book or something that they have. I love this. This is more of a silicone-based um, primer, and uh, if you don't like that, you're probably not going to like this. If you have oily eyelids, I probably don't think, I don't think this would work for you. I just have like normal, like, eyelids. They're not super dry or anything, but they're just like normal. They don't get dry or they're not oily. So if you have oily eyelids, I'd probably stay away from this, but if you have dry eyelids, it will work for you. It's just so good, and it also will, like, fill any, like, in imperfections in your eye. Like, I have, I don't know, some kind of, like, scratch or something in my eye, or something on my eyelid, and this covers it up and makes it just all smooth again, so that's what I really like about this. Another foundation. This is my ride or die. I totally forgot about this. I love this foundation. Okay, so... Here we go. This one, I love. It looks a little bit darker in the bottle, but this matches me 100%, and it has, like, the right undertone in everything. And this one is by Maybelline, and this is their Super Stay Better Skin that I absolutely love. It's in, like, this super cute, sleek packaging, like, cube bottle. And I got it in the shade 1, t or no, 10 Porcelain, and this matches me perfectly. It's the right tone. Um, this is full coverage. Um, you can use this as concealer. It does help your skin. I had very few breakouts when I had this, like, foundation, when I use this every day. Very few breakouts. I love this so much. I do, it is a pricier foundation, but it's definitely worth the money. I absolutely love this foundation so much, and I really need to pick it up. But I haven't picked it up because I'm working with, like, I, I don't know, probably five or six foundations over there that I need to get through. But I need to buy, like, a foundation that's white, which... To mix in to make them lighter so that's why I've only been using like stick into one but this one is so good I, you definitely definitely have to get this I am pretty sure I have a demo review of this so I will link that down below
Okay, um, this is the Soft Soap Body Butter Heavenly Vanilla Body Hydrating Wash. This is very, very comparable to Olay's Body Wash or Dove's Body Wash, but it's like half the price. Um, those body washes like by Dove or Olay are probably 5 or $6, and this one's only like $3, I think. Um, so... If you're trying to save money, this is a really good body wash. I like to do a scrub before, and then I'll like um, follow up with this, and it just makes my skin feel so nice and soft. That's what I did last night, and I love it. This, on its own, just makes me feel like so soft, like a baby's butt everywhere that I used it, and it has a really nice vanilla scent. It's not too fake. It smells really nice. It reminds me of a vanilla cupcake, which is great. So I really do recommend this for you guys. And um, I also had a scrub by them that I liked. I would just follow up with scrubs after, like, a hydrating body wash just because it makes you feel softer and not as dry. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm mentioning this only because I'm out of it. Um, but you cannot get this anymore. I looked it up last night or yesterday or something because I'm like, oh, like, I'm going to show this. Do they still sell this? Because I haven't seen the um, commercials for it. So this is the Neutrogena Skin ID Acne Spot Treatment. And it looks like this in this little tube. It has salicylic acid and that's why it's so good. But they do not sell Neutrogena Skin ID anymore. When you go to the website, it just says they're currently not taking any customers. And then... Like, that's it. So, I had um, Skin ID, and it worked great for me. So, I don't know why they're not up anymore. But this one has salicylic acid in it, and that really helps my breakouts go away very quickly within, like, one to two days. If I get the benzoyl peroxide, no, it's not benzoyl peroxide. What is it? It's something with a B. That one breaks me out. Like, it makes me feel really itchy. It's not like a breakout. It's just a rash. I don't get any, like, breakouts from it, but it, like, makes me rash makes me get a rash like all over my face which I don't like but anything with salicylic acid really works well for me so if salicylic acid works for you definitely try the clean and clear brand um, acne spot advanced treatment or whatever it's called that works great but then at Target they have um, the up and up brand version that's exactly identical and it's also half the price so if you are on a budget um, definitely get the up and up brand over the clean and clear because it's more expensive but anything with salicylic acid works great for me Alright, so I have this. This actually broke. Otherwise, I would have kept it. And this, well, maybe. I don't know. Like, there's two reasons why I got rid of it. It's just, like, a little too orangey. This is from Physicians Formula, but I don't know what it is. There's no, like, product name on it. So if I can, like, find what it's called, I will link it down below. Um, or list it down below. But I used this to set my face. And it was, like, making my face a little bit darker than what I wanted. So I ended up just, like... Just deciding I don't need this anymore because it's making my face look more orange and peachy and my skin is like not any of that. It's like white. There's nothing to it. It might be a little bit pink, but that's really it. Um, so I just... What's my hand? Oh my foundation. Okay, but like I just don't... It just it was it worked really great and it was a nice setting powder because it's so silky and smooth but the tone is just all wrong so no lastly I just wanted to share with you this is actually like a broken toothbrush um, holder cover um, to keep it like safe from all the bacteria in your bathroom or when you travel. This one's just broken so I have to get rid of it. But these are so great. They're really inexpensive. You can get like a two pack or something for like a dollar. And I don't know. These are just lifesavers because I put mine in a drawer. And I don't know if you guys know about these. Um, they do have like cute ones though. But they're more expensive. They have like animals on them. But I just get these like just basic ones. Um, so yeah. They help a lot with keeping your toothbrush safe and um, away from bacteria in your bathroom. There's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on in your bathroom, so yeah. Anyways, you guys, that is it for my empties for no February. Um, it's been like October, November, December, January. It's been five months since I like collected all of this stuff, and in five months I really haven't gone through all that much. Also, disclaimer, it looks like there's a lot in here, but, like, I can't get anything out, and I can't open, I can't, op when I open the lid, I can't get it out. There's, like, not that much in there. Like, so, yeah, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed. Uh, comment down below 
what you want to see next, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!